What's up C Squad? It's Nigel C back again, trying hardcore once again because the last time that was a ginormous failure, alright? Oh my goodness, he runs so fast. Oh! <laughs> but here's the thing, that was a little practice, you know what I'm saying? A little warm up. So today, you and I are going to be trying hardcore again. Maybe you survived your hardcore world that you did last time and I did. But today, we're going to be trying hardcore again, restarting, and this time, we're going to make some progress, all right? Let's get into it. All right, C Squad, we're dropping in right now. As soon as we get in there, we're going to start destroying trees because if you saw my beginner's guide to Minecraft tips, you saw that as soon as you get in, you have to start punching trees. So we're going to find it. Are you serious? All right, so we started off on a little sand island here, and I'm going to have to make my way over to these trees over here. It seems like we're in a giant place of islands because this place with the trees over here looks like an island too. So I guess this might be an, this might be an island survival. Who knows? Oh, mushrooms. Okay, actually, that's pretty good because I don't think mobs spawn in the, the mushroom area. I don't think enemies spawn here, so that's pretty good. So we're destroying this tree. Okay, two by two tree is even better, actually, because that means I'm getting more wood, more bang for our buck, you know what I'm saying? Let me kill this cow real quick. I, just, I might end up hungry at some point and I won't have any food. Oh, he's running. Come here. Why do they take so many hits? Stop running. Come back. All right. Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh my god. I've put- Stop running from me! How- Are you immortal? Jeez. <laughs> Alright, okay, I got two beef and two leather from that, so that's pretty good. <sighs> Alright, so, I might not destroy this entire tree because it's pretty huge, and that might take too long, you know, more wood than I actually need. So, let's see, I'm gonna destroy this, and now- Actually, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I am going to make a little- Some planks. Wait, how do I make planks? I forgot I don't have, you know, I don't have the actual guide to making things here. So I'm gonna have to pull out the recipe book and search up planks. Here it is. Dark oak planks, four of those. Then what do I do? Right, now make a crafting table, more planks, stick. Then we pull out that crafting table. And now I'm about to get dangerous, all right? I'm making a wooden sword. So now these cows aren't gonna be taking 50 hits. They're gonna be taking about three. Where where are y'all? Where'd they go? Oh, see, they, they saw me making that sword and then they ran. Where'd they go? Look, I'm looking for smoke right now. Come here, cows. Oh, area. I don't think enemies spawn here, so that's pretty good. Are you sure about that? I don't want to move. Oh my god! Ah! Yo, I know y'all saw that. That's an air right there. Is he seriously trying to kill me right now? Ah! Oh, no. Stop! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mercy. I'm sorry. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. I have to fight him. I have to fight him. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. Ah, it's a zombie too. Oh my goodness. I'm using the tree as cover. Come here. Why are they? Why are they so strong? I'm gonna die. Why are they? That was so. Seed Squad, before I try this hardcore again, look at this amazing Minecraft base right here. This is pretty cool. This is actually a Nintendo Switch in the ground, which is pretty awesome. So Seed Squad, if you have any cool Minecraft bases like this, then of course I want to see them. So please go to Instagram at real Nigel Seed. DM me a picture of your cool Minecraft base. I might take your picture, post it to Instagram. I might say, look at this awesome base that this person built. So please show me your bases and let's get back into it. All right, man, I'm not even gonna make that count, y'all. I'm gonna just restart right now because that was just annoying. I'm... Now, I literally hit that skeleton about 20 times in a row. Somehow he survives all of those. I don't know what it is about hardcore, but I'm playing on hard mode, so they're gonna take more hits. <sighs> all right, I'm doing that again. I don't care. I'm, I'm making another one, all right? We're gonna restart that once again because skeletons in this game... Maybe I'm just bad at Minecraft. That might just be it. Okay, here I am again. Doesn't seem to be anybody bad over here, so I'll be trying this once again. <sighs> My sister's in here right now, spectating. You can just, you wanna watch me play? Okay. <laughs> All right, Nadia's watching me while I play. Oh, actually, speaking of Nadia, go check out her channel. It's called Nadia Seed. If you like watching, you know, lifestyle type stuff, she's making craft videos, productivity type stuff, healthy eating, if you're into any of that, then please go check out Nadia Seed on YouTube. Thank you. You're welcome, Nadia. <laughs> now, I'm trying to destroy this. Oh, wait, I got a lot of wood while I was talking, actually. So let me use this wood. Good night. 
Good night, love you. <laughs> now it's going to sleep, guys. Say good night, Nadia. Everybody, everybody in the comments, say good night, Nadia. All right, C squad. So I've made my crafting table with all this wood that I've accumulated, and now I'm going to try to make more planks again, make my sticks again, and then try to make another sword. So it seems like in this game, I have to be really prepared, okay? So this is like kind of a really hard mode. I just realized I'm actually playing in hard mode. So of course it's gonna be hard. So what we're gonna do is make a sword because, you know, in this game mode, you have to be ultra hyper prepared for anything. Let's see, where are the swords? Doesn't seem to be here. Do I need to make more sticks? That oh, excuse me. Where, oh, crafting table, right. Okay, so I've made a sword. Now, just in case, I'm gonna make an ax also, just so it's easier for me to, you know, destroy these trees and stuff. Finish off of this tree. Ooh, pumpkins. Can't you make pumpkin pie in this game? Is that something you can do? I think you can. So I'm gonna actually destroy these pumpkins just so I can end up making some pumpkin pie later. Because, oh look, see, there it is. I unlocked that recipe. Pumpkin pie, even though I absolutely despise it in real life, I just don't like pumpkin pie at all. It does seem to look good in this game, so I'm gonna make some at some point. Honestly, I think I'm done with the trees for now. I don't really need to destroy all of these. Let's go look for stone, because as I've said, you know, you need to be super ultra prepared. So that means having the highest class weapons. So we can't just keep a wooden sword this whole time and expect to fight that skeleton, because the last time I fought a skeleton, it killed me, even though I hit it 20 times because I had a wooden sword. So now we're gonna try to find... Listen, guys, we're having literally every single distraction right now. Mommy Seed over here watching whatever on her phone on YouTube. Get Nadia coming on Instagram. On YouTube. <laughs> You're on YouTube. Sorry. Nadia coming in with her. Good night. It's a busy house, guys, all right? But despite all of that, we're still gonna win this game. You know what I'm saying? We don't let distractions distract us. We distract the distractions by focusing. That was kind of a hard quote. That was hard. Distract the distractions by focusing. That was kind of clean, actually. All right, all right, let's get this pickaxe so we can mine this, um, what is it? So we can mine this stone over here to get our tools. Where's the sticks on here? Am I blind? Oh, there's two pages, Never mind. All right, C-Squad. If you like that quote that I just made, distract the distractions by focusing. If you like that quote, then please subscribe right now because you know me, I just spit bars constantly. So if you want to hear more amazing quotes like that, subscribe right now. Let me mine this stone. Yay. Oh, I just fell into some kind of hole here. And this is definitely where an enemy would be. So I'm going to get up out of there real quick. All right, let's get some more stones to upgrade our tools, you know. All right, I think I'm good. So now let me make, what should I make? Do I make a sword, pickaxe, or axe? You know, judging by my last experience with that skeleton, I'm going to make a sword. Because like I said, ultra defensive, ultra prepared. You know what I'm saying? So I've got the stone sword now. And I think I can also make a stone axe or pickaxe. I'm going to make a pickaxe axe. We've got our stone pickaxe and axe. Getting it upgrade. Nice. And you know what? Why not get a stone axe too? Let's get that. Can I get that? Mmm, no sticks. Okay, make some planks. Sticks. And we've upgraded to the Stone Age, people. <laughs> All right, we're making some good progress right here, actually. Seed Squad, look at what we did. Hold on, let me talk to you from, oh, I'm Alex. Pretend I'm not Alex right now, but look at what we did. All right, we went from getting murked by a skeleton after putting 20 hits on it. I'm gonna die to upgrading to the Stone Age that quickly. All right, listen to me, okay? Like I've said before, I'm not the best Minecraft player, and I don't know if you are either, but we've made amazing progress already, okay? Last episode of this hardcore stuff, I got absolutely destroyed by an Iron Golem, but this episode, I'm still alive, I'm still living, so we're making progress, all right? I hope that you guys made some progress too. And if you did make some progress, please let me know. Comment down below with how far you've gotten into the game, you know, what have you been doing good in hardcore? So, in this next video we're gonna be making even more progress upgrading yet again to iron all right so click on that video once it drops okay see you guys